Hi, how are you? Recently, I took a break from competing. While it used to light a fire within me, I was starting to burn out. I had to walk away from the stage and figure out ways on how to use the same fire that was burning me as fuel to get me back to coffee. Through walking away, I found mindfulness. The practice of being fully present in the moment, harmonizing the mind, the body, and the soul to achieve a state of balance. Today, we will all discover how practicing mindfulness will elevate your personal experience with not only coffee, but with life itself. So now, please walk with me and follow this path to begin your journey. Now, let's stop here for a moment. Sometimes when we go on a walk, it is useful to stop and smell the flowers to appreciate the beauty of the moment. This way, we can clear our mind and we can be inspired. Now, our mind is so powerful. It allows us to elevate a simple coffee and turn it into an incredible tasting experience. Today, we will use the same coffee for your first two courses. We will start with your milk coffee to get in touch with our mind. We will then continue with your signature course to get in touch with your body. We will then conclude with your espresso course using a different coffee to get in touch with your soul. Now our first coffee today is a product of the mind. It is an Ethiopian land race called Ahi, from Finca El Dipiso in Colombia. As a varietal, this coffee is sweet and herbaceous. To elevate it, it was mindfully processed to have fruity flavors inside it. It went through a microbial cleansing stage before being yeast inoculated and then thermal shock to lock in all the flavors, turning it into tropical and stone fruits. Now we're pulling your signature beverage shots first. After this, we'll put it aside and we'll begin the preparation for your milk course. For these two coffee, we will use the same recipe of 20 grams in, 30 grams out, in 25 seconds, to concentrate those flavors into peach and cantaloupe inside the cup. Now this coffee inspired my mind to approach the meal course as if this was a signature course. To use the available milk options as ingredients to achieve harmony and balance transforming the final product. So today, we have a blend of three different milk. First, we have 60% of dairy. The lactose will provide a sweetness base. Then we have 20% of cashew milk. This, together with the coffee, will provide a peach liquor flavor. Lastly, we have 20% of oat milk. This has maltiness. And together with the light nuttiness and creaminess, of our cashew milk, it will create a savory flavor of marzipan that balances the acidity inside our coffee. Now after blending the milk, we elevate it even further using this food processor in front of me to concentrate the sweetness. We evaporated 20% of the water content, concentrating that cantaloupe flavor. Now I'm going to show you your visual for the latte art. So if you can scoot in just a little closer to make it easier for us. Just scoot in a little closer. Now, the concentration of flavors allows us to create a smaller dessert-like milk beverage. It's yours. So today we're using 50 grams of the milk with one shot of the espresso. 
Now this create flavors of peach liquor. Cantaloupe. Marzipan. With a coating mouthfeel. And a lingering aftertaste of chocolate truffle that is coating. Now today, we will be walking around quite a bit. So each of you will have a personalized color code that symbolizes your personal journey towards mindfulness today. You will also have a menu card for each of your courses, so you don't have to worry about taking down notes too much. We will also practice mindfulness today. We will build on each of our courses. Right now, Sylvia, starting from you, please take that milk beverage. Come over to this horse. Please follow Edward. You can put it down on the coaster. And later on, I will stir your milk beverage so that we can harmonize all the flavors. For now, let's close our eyes together. Take your mind to a peaceful place. Prepare it for the experience that you're about to enjoy. You may now open your eyes and enjoy your milk beverage. Thank you. Welcome back. Now, we're going to take another short walk to clear our mind and refresh our body for the next course. So please, Sylvia, starting from you, come with me to the side of the table. We can go all the way back and find your personal color. All the way back to the yellow one. Now we'll join you on this side. Now the signature course is designed to harmonize the mind that ideates with the body that executes. Our eyes our arms, our legs, they all synergize together towards building something like a signature beverage course. And just how our body parts work in balance, our ingredients manifest our thoughts into a drink. So for that, we have 60 grams of our Colombian ahi. This will provide a fruity base inside our drink. Next, we elevate our milk blend even further, clarifying it with 10% of lemon juice. In that course, the combination of ahi and milk blend gave us flavors of peach and cantaloupe. With the addition of lemon juice, we transformed that flavor into honeydew and also watermelon. So today, we use 40 grams of this clarified milk blend. Next, the processing brought up fruity flavor from our ahi, but I also want to reintroduce the sweet herbaceous note that comes from the varietal. For that, I have Palo Santo used in two ways. Now, Palo Santo is native to Central America, and the aromatics has been found useful to clear the mind. So we're infusing the aromatics into our cup. The second use is to create a Palo Santo syrup using one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water with 1% vanilla and 1% Palo Santo. Today, we use 25 grams of this to create sweet sage flavor. Next, mindful of the acidity and sweetness, we need pleasant bitterness to ground the drink. For that, I have eight grams of cacao nibs with fruity acidity from Indonesia, the earth where my body is grounded to. 
no matter where my mind goes. Together with 125 ml of boiling hot water, this will transform the drink, giving 50 degrees Celsius drinking temperature, creating a black forest flavor. Now I'm going to blend this to create a silky mouthfeel. As you can see on the menu card, this will give flavor of honeydew, watermelon, sage, black forest with silky mouthfeel, and a lingering finish of that black forest that is silky. Now we're going to build on our mindfulness practice by adding intentional breathing. So I want to hand you out this drink. Please pick it up with your free hand, but we will drink it together. Please pick it up with your free hand and hold on to it for now. Just pick it up and hold on to it. Now, let's close our eyes together. Take your mind to a peaceful place. Prepare it for the experience you're about to enjoy. Now take one deep breath and exhale slowly through your mouth. Feel the texture of the cup to ground you. It is rough at the bottom, but it is smooth on your lips. This is a reminder that smoothness can only be truly appreciated in comparison to roughness. You may now open your eyes. Please enjoy your signature course, a product of harmonizing the mind with the body. Enjoy. Now, we will walk one final time. Sebastian, starting from you, please walk to the end of that table where you can find your personal color code. Just here, sorry. Sure. Yeah. And then now please stand on the side of the table and assess the crema closest to you. After that, please stand and face towards me. Now the soul is how we will reconnect with our espresso and our soul. It is devoid of all the noise that come from the other ingredients. There's a menu card there, so you don't have to write anything down at all for this course. As you practice your one mindfulness one last time, I will come closer and stir your espresso. So let's close our eyes together. This time, take your mind to a lush green coffee farm. While you're there, don't forget to stop and smell the flowers to appreciate the beauty of the moment. In coffee, the soul reminds me of the most beautiful Panamanian geisha. So today yours was mindfully processed and washed with minimum intervention to truly showcase the soul of this coffee, the florals and the citrus that can only come from Finca Debra. Today we use one to 2.5 brew ratio to open up flavors of jasmine, of orange blossom, of navel orange and honey. It has a low weight with a silky and juicy texture. It has a lingering finish of golden raisin that is silky. You may now open your eyes, take a sip of water. Friends, tough times in life cleanse our soul, allowing us to lead with a clear mind and a strong body. I'm thankful to have gone through the fire and share my story so that others can also see the light. Today, coffee is the one that reminds us to stop and smell the flowers. But you can apply mindfulness in anything in life, anything from drinking coffee to dealing with tough times. 
Now please reconnect with your soul and enjoy your espresso. Time.